Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Out in the Barn with Dr. Lee. This little dude right here is the subject of today's video, and this little dude right here started all the problems. This is my water pump. It takes the water from our water well, pressurizes it, and sends it to the house about 75 yards that way. This is an old pump, and it started to wear out, and it couldn't get the water pressure over about 35 pounds of pressure which is not really a whole lot so it's and it started making a lot of noise so I thought well we'll just rebuild that little dude so we got it rebuilt we got it all put back in by noon and the water pressure on this gauge was showing 50 to 55 pounds of pressure I was so proud of myself and I headed back to the house to tell my wife what I'd done and she met me halfway telling me the water heater inside the kitchen closet had sprung a giant leak and was flooding the floor and that she could also hear water spraying under the house. So that's the way the rest of my day goes and here's that video. Well good afternoon everyone and welcome to Plumbing with Dr. Lee or Plumbing 101 for the purist because I'm not that good of a plumber. For those of you that are out there that are plumbers, man I could use you today let me get you down off that tripod and I'll show you what's going on. This is part of the beauty and splendor of owning these charming old homes that are 125 years old. And if it's a farmhouse like this one, the repairs are always done as cheaply as possible. I'll show you what I'm talking about next. We have no water, so I'm washing my hands in the dog bowl and wiping them off on my pants is about uh, as clean as they're going to get. I'll try to keep my camera somewhat dry. But let me show you what happened. And, and before we get over there, you need to see this. This is a pipe that's used on water heaters. And like I said, I just went and bought a new water heater, so I bought a couple of these. Take a real good look at it because you're going to see another one in just a second that's not where it's supposed to be. And yeah, I know, I made a mess. I made a big mess here. Um, I had to break all that concrete out to get down here and you can see thank God for knee pads that's all I got to say and if you'll look you see what they did somewhere down the line I don't know if they had a leak or what but they fixed it with a water heater pipe it's got got a nut on each end of it so anyway that thing you can see it's leaking up there it's got some pinholes over on the right side of it so what a mess and you know the the way i do things it will never look it will never again look like it's supposed to but anyway guys that's what i'm doing one day you're driving around in a car singing songs with your friends and the next day you're digging in the mud i soaked this connection right here in in this PB blaster it's a penetrating oil just because it's been buried down here for a while and moment of truth yep okay well I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna take that one all the way off I'm gonna go in there now underneath the house and see if that one if I can get it loose too because if if I uh, if I take this one off and I can't get the other one off and I can't get this one back on we don't have any water tonight so and I dug it out quite a bit went under there with one of these guys you can see how much dirt I, I pulled out from under there so let's see what good grief gonna be a hell of a day to not be able to take a shower hopefully I can get this done oh Lord I tell you what you plumbers have my respect right now undying respect oh crap not enough room this is just like surgery. If you don't have enough room, surgery is a booger bear. Ah. 
It's all about exposure, right? Okay, well, I'm going to have to dig that out. There's just not enough room to get two big wrenches in there. Okay, let's see if we can get in there now. Uh, worst part of recording this is I can't cuss. Uh, oh, I got it. How about that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We get to bathe tonight. And you know what I'm going to use tonight to patch this thing too? I'm going to do exactly what the last guy did. Except I'm not going to bury it under concrete and leave it for 30 years. 40 years, probably. Maybe 50. I don't know, you plumbers. How long, how long will these things last underground? That'd be an interesting thing to know. Well, I cannot believe I'm this lucky. This sucker's coming right off. Get this done before the sun goes down. I can turn this thing about a quarter of a turn at a grab here. I know you plumbers have been in a lot worse situations than this, so I should not whine. Okay, it is done. <clears throat> Woo! Get the other end off. So plumbers, is this common? You ever seen this before? What a bitch. Ugh. Getting too old for this. I'm too old for this. Getting too old for this. I'm too old for this. And see, I was not kidding about washing my hands in the dog bowl. I hope your day's going better than mine, guys. Some days are diamonds. We won't say what the other ones are. Anyway, I'm gonna clean the threads on these two pieces of pipe with a wire brush, just because. You know, I was coming back from Home Depot and I thought, you know, this has lasted for at least 30 years. And I thought, hell, I might just put the other one on and throw dirt on it and be good with it. Because more than likely, this old house is going to get bulldozed in the next 10 years, would be my guess. Just by looking at what all's going up around it, it's all turning into commercial and residential neighborhoods. And so, anyway... Okay, those threads are pretty darn clean right now. Probably as clean as they're going to get. So let's see if we can get us some water back in the house. Ah. I told one of my kids one time that we go to college so we don't have to do things like this. And he said, well, Dad, why... You went to college, why are we doing it? <laughs> My chances of being able to take a bath tonight have just gotten much, much better. And you know I gotta get this fixed so I can go start on that water heater. Always something. Okay. Turn this baby on and see what we got. I don't see any leaks. No leaks at all. Getting any more in depth in plumbing than that right there is kind of over my head. I can sweat copper, I can do that. But having to go back under the house in a, in a hole this big around and sweat copper is uh, not my forte. That's for somebody else. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. I know that was as boring as it 
could possibly be but I just wanted to let you know that the glorified retired veterinary rancher thing living in a, a charming old 1890s house not always all it's cracked up to be well guys there's the next project well folks here we are the water heater is installed this day has finally come to an end I think I will take a hot shower and go to bed. Well guys, that's about it for this video. One more thing for this project. Got to take this baby to the dump and we will be all done. And you know, I don't really begrudge. I don't really mind these project days like this. I just wish they wouldn't fall on my birthday. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and out on the ranch. Thanks for dropping by to say hi. Thanks for leaving your comments and for being so darn nice and, and being so nice to one another too. You know, I really, really appreciate that. You guys take care. Happy Easter. We will see you next time. And always remember, I love you. Bye-bye now. So what you doing there, huh? Neutering dog, Dad. All right. Who's gonna learn you? That's a mistake.